A devastating loss My heart is so broken. for Pastor Christina Dawson. Her beloved refuge street church, now a hollowed out pile of smoldering ashes, she watched last night as it burned. As you can see, flames going up and smoke billowing out. And I could see that and I'm screaming and I'm crying. No, why? No, you know. Dear God, have mercy on us. The great-grandmother says three years ago, the church helped her out of homelessness and is needed in a place like the downtown east side. Coming to Street Church, you know, really comforted me and made me feel rest, a place to rest, you know, and a place to have something to eat. Officials say the fire started just after 9 p.m. Wednesday night. It took 47 firefighters to finally put it out the next morning. Investigators are still looking into what sparked the fire in the alleyway. It's the third major fire in the area in three months. Just over a week ago, flames ripped through this value village on Hastings near Victoria Drive. Right now, we don't have anything uh, that that's coming at us that they're connected at all. Hopefully, this is just a, a bad run of, of bad incidents that we're having just this time. The fate of the burnt buildings are with city engineers. The community says they are watching closely, worried about gentrification. More housing, not for us. Young people are moving into them all the time, but 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 they're but they but they're, their places are getting flipped because um, they see the lay of the land down here, you know. A single room occupancy hotel next to Street Church was evacuated, but officials say residents should be able to return home within a day. Volunteers for the church are now looking for a new home. It's going to be missed, but I just know that we will be able to either get it rebuilt or we will have that known spirit that will guide us to that place. So others can find comfort in tough times. Leanne Young, CBC News, Vancouver.